Jordans. Norchats and tennis. <laughs> Nike, Patagonia. This is Haley's little sweatshirt. Airy, fake Boston clogs. I brought my silk pillowcase from home because I can't sleep without it. My hair will look crazy and my face will break out. Cute little Myra bag. Love this bag. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch my little pillowcase. Yeah, guys, so welcome to another little vlog. This one is going to be a bit more edition. So here's all my clothes. <laughs> and then I have the rest of my stuff like in here, you know. <laughs> so I just figured out there's no like outlets by the bed. So we'll have to charge our phone like right over here. So yeah, this is our little room. I also brought like five pairs of shoes because I didn't know what else to bring. I brought both of my own clouds. I brought Uggs. I brought my little clogs that I have on. And then I brought two pair of flip-flops. So I may have overpacked just a little bit. Bought a curl iron. Here's my makeup. And my face wash bag. Cute little bathroom here. Skin is OD right now. I just washed my face, but so it's the night before Biltmore. So excited! I'm gonna get up, have breakfast tomorrow morning, and then we're going to we're gonna do a lot of things. Their Christmas stuff is up, so I'm so excited. I'm gonna try and vlog as much as possible, take as many pictures as I can. Um, but I think you're not allowed to take pictures in the Biltmore, but I'm gonna try and get some. But I will see you guys in the morning this is all just gonna be one big vlog so so stay tuned and i'll see you guys in the a.m peace thick to go in there oh well that's interesting they go Yeah, that is too cute. Yeah, it's closed. <laughs> up my eyebrows i feel like every time i have something like planned my skin decides to break out and i'm like are we serious this bed here sleeps amazing i didn't really sleep the best last night though um just because when i have something planned the next day that i'm like anticipating that i'm really excited for i can't sleep i don't know i've always been like that i just i can't when i went with them to disney i was the exact same way so we got here maybe around we got here around 11 last night and when we would go up the little roads 
they were so windy i'll try and get a video of them today and like how windy they are it really is like crazy okay and i'm gonna take a little bit of powder and just kind of really go over like the redness in my face well especially like the red pimples So like I said earlier, this is my first ever time going to the Biltmore, so I don't really know what to expect. Like, of course, I've seen pictures, but, you know, I'm just, I'm so, I'm so excited, like, to get there. Really excited to see it. We have a little carriage ride thing that we're going on, which I think will be really fun. And then we actually have, we're touring the house tonight at, like, 9 p.m. And then we're eating at these little, it's like a stable thing. So, I am super excited for that. I really hope I can record a lot in there because I've heard that, like, you can't record in there, but I'm going to try and find a way around that. You need to do a little bit of blush. Something not too high maintenance, just something that we can deal with. You guys, I am literally so excited. Okay, I'm debating if I should do Aquaphor on my eyelashes or do mascara. Because I kind of don't want to do mascara. Okay, so I think I'm having a good eyelash day, so I'll probably just do mascara. Just a little tiny bit though, nothing too crazy. I'm having a very good eyelash day. Let's go. I don't know if I should wear these jeans or my Levi jeans. These definitely. How pretty.
girl just got proposed to a She did. Yes. Her ring. I saw it. Holy, Holy balls. Yeah. It's like, oh my god. Holy balls. <laughs> Look at these gourds. <laughs> Alrighty guys, we are leaving the Biltmore. Say bye bye. We just finished the tour. We went through all the rooms that they would let you see and it was about 90 minutes. And it was really cool. They gave you like this little phone and you just press the numbers and like the numbers told you a little bit about the rooms. But yeah, it was really cool. We ate at the stables. The stables. Eat. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, I think it's actually called the stables. We ate there. We got, I got a filet. We got like this little soup. And then it was like a three course meal. So it came with an appetizer, an entree, and a dessert. That was very good. And the stables actually used to be real stables where the horses were. So this, this was just such like, I mean, look at that. Like, look at the house. We looked up to see like what the net worth would be. Like in today's time, and what'd you say it was? 300 billion. So the guy George Vanderbilt, he would have been like worth like 300 billion dollars, like right now. Around that number. Yeah. So which is insane. But anyways, so I don't know how this vlog is going to look because I feel like I haven't really talked to the camera a lot. I've just been recording a bunch of stuff. So hopefully this will be a 
cute little vlog. We'll see. But yeah, bye Biltmore. What do you have to say, babe? <laughs> Sorry you can't you can't see me. Yeah. <laughs> what do you cool. have to say? <laughs> it's alright, I guess. <laughs> I mean, yeah. It was definitely interesting. I could build a better house than that, but with my I mean, birds. <laughs> I definitely got some inspiration from my future. Yeah, honestly, dude, the rooms were insane. Like, he had, like, some of the wallpaper was, like, velvet. And it was like, how do you even do that? Also, this is beautiful right here. The videos don't really even do it justice, you know. But, so, yeah. Hopefully, I got enough to film, but we will see when I watch this all back. But thank you guys so much for watching. Really hope you enjoyed the vlog. Anything you want to add, Brandon? Like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> subscribe to the channel. Comment down below. Give me a like. And we'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs>